Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So today's video, I've done this before and I will link my version that I've done before in my description box so you can check it out. But this is going to be my top three favorite products of each makeup category. This was originally started by Julia Adams here on YouTube. This has definitely been around for a few years already at this point, but I wanted to do an updated version. It's been some time and I felt like I've had some new products definitely come around at this point and I wanted to share those new favorites with you guys. So it's probably gonna be a long one. Definitely make sure that maybe you have like a snack or maybe some wine or coffee or something because I feel like it's gonna be a longer video. So let's kick it off with primer. So my favorite primers, starting out with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. You guys already saw this coming. This is a beautiful, beautiful primer. This is something that as soon as I used it, I basically knew that I loved it. I knew that it was gonna be a favorite of mine. This is a primer that works really, really well. I know some people are kind of hit or miss with primers. They feel that maybe they don't do anything. This one actually does. This blurs the, uh, blurs the skin. It really does smooth down any pores and it really does help with makeup. Um, like with prolonging your makeup. So definitely recommend this primer. I think it works very, very well and it's definitely a favorite for a reason. Um, another primer that is a favorite for sure is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I just have the mini size here, but I have finished up a full, no, I haven't finished up a full size, but I had like a mini of it and I loved it and missed it so much when I finished it that I wanted to purchase it again. And honestly, I love this primer so much. It's just really a hydrating primer. That's really all it is. But for some reason, the way that this makes your skin feel after you apply it, it really does allow foundation to just kind of like grip onto it really nicely that I feel like it makes foundation go on top of it beautifully and it makes your makeup wear really well. It obviously doesn't have any prolonging factor to it, but I just feel like it creates a nice base for foundation. So I really love this one. You can usually find this at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So I really recommend checking it out there. But yes, this is definitely a good one. And it's one of my favorites for sure. And finally, in the primer category, my top three, right, is going to be my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I cannot believe that this is a favorite of mine now because I used to talk total crap about this primer because I felt like it wasn't really worth the hype. I felt like most people really, really enjoyed this primer, but I never really understood why. But now that I've used it and I've had some time with it in my collection, I get it. I really do. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I try not to apply too much of this product, but whenever I use this product, my foundation and my makeup will last all day long it'll last 12 to 16 for uh, 12 14 16 hours right it'll last really really well and also the scent is very refreshing it's perfect for summer because it has that really really just fruity watermelon -y scent and yes it works really really well um, I know that this one is not available anymore because this was part of like a limited edition collection but I'm thinking that maybe the new like grip primer is probably just as good as this one hopefully but this is just near and dear to my heart and it's definitely in my top three. For foundation, I kind of struggled in this category because I've discovered some pretty good foundations this year. Um, one of them being the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is in my top three for sure because this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. This is something that I will wear for special occasions because I feel like it performs so well. Um, I love that it has a pump because I know that some of the NARS foundations don't have pumps. Um, and the shade L3 Gobi is a good shade shade for me, but it can be a little bit too light for me, but this is a beautiful foundation. It is very, well, I wouldn't say it's very full coverage. It's probably more of like a medium to full coverage, but it does give decent coverage. It covers up my redness. It covers up like if I have any acne, I truly feel that no matter the condition my skin is in, it's going to lay over it very nicely. Um, and I really like using light layers with this one because it can build up very nicely, but a little bit goes a long way because it is very very, very pigmented. It lasts very well throughout the day. Um, being that it's light reflecting, you would think that maybe it wouldn't work well for you because maybe it would make you too oily or something. I don't have that problem. Of course, if you're worried about that, maybe pair it with a um, mattifying primer or something like that. Of course, I set my makeup every time I use it. I was just so impressed with this foundation this year. And honestly,
honestly, I think it performs so well and it's in my top three for sure because it's one that I was reaching for a lot. Another foundation that is definitely a favorite of mine and kind of similar to the NARS where I wear it for special occasions. I think that it does really, really well for my long days when I want my makeup to last very long. That is my Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation. And I recently saw Emily's makeup bag do an updated version of this video as well. And she also loves this one. And I'm so happy that someone else loves this one because I really do think that this is a good drugstore foundation and not even drugstore, just in general, but especially because it's drugstore check it out this gives amazing amazing coverage i would say this is definitely full coverage and it leaves a beautiful finish to the skin it's not too glowy it's not too matte it's a beautiful kind of like natural finished foundation and it wears like iron this really does wear very very well throughout the day i actually wore this for my graduation i graduated with my master's last december and I probably had my makeup on for maybe like 16 hours, maybe longer, because I want to say I probably started doing my makeup around like 8 a.m. or something like that in the morning. And I was definitely still wearing this at like 10 o'clock at night. So I wore this and I really put it through the ringer. I was even wearing a mask and it still performed so well. So this is definitely a favorite of mine and I have the shade Fair to Light. So love that one. And then another favorite of mine is one of my everyday foundations. Those two are definitely more of like my special occasion. I can definitely wear those every day. The NARS one is one that was in my shop my stash that i would wear regularly but of course those are a little bit more you know fuller coverage for more day-to-day -day and one that i'm really just gravitating towards all the time is my misha bb cream this is just my everything like you can see how much i've used of this product and ultimately it is just such a good everyday foundation if you can find your shade in this one i highly recommend it because it is a beautiful beautiful bb cream um, don't let bb cream throw you off it definitely has some decent coverage and i feel like it's a good pretty much like light to medium coverage product leaning more towards the medium side because i do get pretty decent coverage with this one and i have the shade number 21 it is a little bit gray toned at first but i feel like it blends out nicely it can be a little bit too light for me so i do kind of like to pack on bronzer when i wear this one but it doesn't bother me it's beautiful on the skin it's one of those products again that no matter the condition of my skin i know that my makeup is going to look great because of this product and it does have spf 42 which is really nice as well because at least i know i'm getting more sun more sun protection as well all right now let's get into concealer so concealer one for sure this is definitely not changed my elf hydrate and camo concealer love this one mine looks rough because i am almost finished with this one i'm literally scraping the sides this is a beautiful concealer it's going to be an instant repurchase for me i love it so much i wear the shade light peach this is basically it's full coverage it's hydrating it's a little bit cooling underneath the eyes whenever you apply this a little bit goes a long way i still like to put on a decent amount though but yes this is a beautiful concealer it honestly they could be charging so much more for this i don't want them to but this is a beautiful concealer you guys um i just i love it i love it so much i thought that maybe i would top it already with other concealers and i just haven't because this one is just so good like i always go back to this this is my kind of like special occasion concealer because it's just it's so good it is that good and i mean honestly look how much i've used of it and a ton comes in here as well my other favorite concealer this is a new one and honestly i'm kind of shocked this is from morphe i know you heard me morphe this is from morphe and it's the filter effect soft radiance concealer this is beautiful like this is beautiful I have the shade light six. This is a beautiful concealer. Like it is stunning. Honestly, I was so shocked that I love this one so much. This is, this just makes your under eyes look so good. Um, I feel like it doesn't crease as much, as nearly as much as any of my concealers. Um, it is very, very just kind of healthy looking underneath the eyes. It gives very good coverage. Um, well, not very. It's nothing like the Hydrating Camo from e.l.f. It's definitely a medium to fuller coverage concealer, but it's not thick. It's going to be very nice and creamy, very nice and lightweight. It's going to apply beautifully underneath the eyes. I mean, honestly, 
I am so impressed with this concealer. I was wanting to use this one a lot when I first got it. I got this one this year and I'm just so impressed. And honestly, I could not believe that I love a Morphe product as much as I do. So yes, love that concealer. Definitely, definitely try it out if you haven't already. And then a concealer that I rediscovered this year, I had finished it a while back, probably back in like 2019 or 2020, and I missed it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring it back into my collection. And I'm so glad that I did because this is a bomb concealer. This is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I know, right? It's been around forever. I have the shade C4. And this is, again, kind of like the Morphe one where it's very, very creamy underneath the eyes. It's gonna give medium to full coverage. I love just how it, it, it's almost like it just, you swipe it across your under eye and it's just so blendable. Like I can't explain it. It's so blendable. It's not thick. It's very creamy. Um, and I blend it out with a sponge easily and it's perfect. And it's very, very lightweight underneath the eyes. And I feel like it just doesn't crease as much. Like honestly, it's just such a good one. And again, same thing. I was using this one and I couldn't put it down. So those are my concealer picks. Two of them are pretty new. I wanted to talk about them new to me like rediscovering them and loving them but anyways now let's get into powder now powder was definitely tricky for me because I have a lot of powders that I love and I couldn't just choose three so I have four to talk about I don't care if I'm cheating y'all need to know about these okay so the first one is just kind of like my loose powder option. It's a favorite. I think honestly, it, you could go you you cannot go wrong if you pick up this powder and it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Translucent Powder. This is a good one, you guys. This is a great powder for the value. I mean, you get a ton of product in here and it performs so well. I was going to mention the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and honestly, I still love that one and it could probably be interchanged with this powder, but that powder um, it's very expensive and honestly I kind of save it for my special occasions because it really does prolong your makeup this one it's going to do that but it's perfect for every day because of how affordable it is because of how much product you get in here and yes I just love this one it's been my um, everyday powder right now and I'm just loving it the other powders that I wanted to mention are pressed powders so actually no I have one more loose powder and this has been my baby recently I kind of mentioned it in my last get ready with me because I've just been so obsessed with this powder and it's beautiful underneath the eyes. I think it's even replaced my Essence banana powder, which I never thought would happen for underneath the eyes. And that is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder and I have it in the brightening shade. And this I picked up, um, I picked up in the my last like shop miss a haul that I did. I actually did post a haul and get ready with me video um, of all of these shop miss a products. So I will have that linked below because I really liked the look that I came up with, and there were some winners from that from that haul. Like absolutely. And this powder is one of them. This is a beautiful powder for underneath the eyes, especially the brightening shade. I've completely used up the translucent one, or maybe it was a skin tone shade, I don't remember, but I I've completely finished one of those up and I repurchased the brightening shade and this is so good for underneath the eyes. I don't notice it doing a ton of brightening for underneath my eyes, but it's just so like blurring and smoothing under there. And I've been pairing it with my Real Techniques setting brush and it's literally a match made in heaven. So love this one. It's also like very affordable. Um, and then I could not film this video in good faith and not mention my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Powder Foundation. This is so so good this is so good i feel like i can get rid of all of my powder foundations and just use this one i have the shade p4 in this one this is specifically the satin matte powder foundation and this is so good you guys i have used so much of this product and this is just perfect for every day because what this does is if i'm going in with something that's lighter coverage maybe it's a tinted moisturizer or a bb cream and maybe i'm just wanting to cover up some more redness or sometimes right here i notice that foundations don't always cover that area i'll go in with this powder foundation and just apply it in those areas and it does looks so good it looks so good it doesn't cake up it doesn't make my makeup look like heavy or that I'm wearing too much makeup the elf one would do that the elf powder foundation would do that and I hated it for that but this one does not do that like this is this is so good like this is very very good um, I am so glad that I decided to pick this one up because honestly it just performs so good you guys 
pick this up. I can only find it on the Ulta website, like online. I can't find it in store anywhere. If you can, let me know, but this is so worth picking it up on the Ulta site. And the final powder that I wanted to talk about is another pressed powder. And this is one that I use whenever I want, maybe just to kind of freshen up my makeup. Like maybe I'm, you know, I work all day and I'm wearing the makeup all day long and then I come home and my husband and I are gonna go out and do something and I wanna just kinda like touch up my makeup really quick, this is the powder that I use. This is from LYS, this is the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder and I have the shade Resilience, which is the translucent shade. And this is a beautiful powder, you guys. What I like about this one is that it's not too much. It's not too heavy, I feel like I can go in with a pretty like, big fluffy like powder brush and just really pack it on and it's never gonna look cakey it's never gonna look heavy it doesn't emphasize like any texture or like peach fuzz or anything like that on my face I just love this and it gives that beautiful kind of like soft focus finish it's not going to completely mattify the skin but it also makes your skin look like skin so love this one a lot of people really like this one for underneath the eyes as well but I'm sorry that those aren't three powders but Honestly, all four of those are just so good and I've been loving them so much that I couldn't decide. Now let's get into bronzer. So for bronzer, I have one cream option and two powder options. I honestly love cream bronzer so much that I could probably come up with multiple, like I could probably do a cream bronzer top three and a powder bronzer top three and same with blush, but I didn't for the sake of time. But my favorite cream bronzer, honestly, I cannot believe how quickly this is just kind of like, taken off and just been my favorite and it's the makeup revolution cream bronzer i've been liking makeup revolution can you guys tell like they have been killing it in my opinion there are so many great products from that line or from that brand that i've thoroughly enjoyed and this cream bronzer is one of them this is the ultra cream bronzer in the shade light and this is a great great cream bronzer you guys this is about eight dollars on ulta and I've also seen this in store at Walgreens as well. And what I love about this one is, yes, it's pigmented, but it is so easy to blend out. Honestly, I just stipple my brush in the product and then I go and stipple it on my face and blend it out. And it blends out in seconds. It blends out instantly. It gives me a beautiful bronzed look without looking too muddy or too heavy. And it's so easy to work with. Like sometimes with my NARS one, the NARS uh, cream bronzer, and I have the shade, I think it's Laguna 02, so it's the second shade. Sometimes that one can be a little bit too dark on me, but I know the light version would be too light. So I like, with, so with the NARS one, I feel like sometimes it's too heavy, it's too much. With the Makeup Revolution one, I feel like I'm going in with the same amount of pressure, the same amount of product, but I'm able to blend it out more fast like or i'm able to build it out faster um and it's just easier to work with honestly i'm so glad that this is so affordable because for someone who's starting out with creams i would recommend this cream bronzer for those who are starting out because it's just very easy to work with so again i have the shade light i love this one so much and then for my powder bronzer options i have two so my flower beauty heat wave bronzer this is a new like a new like a rediscovered love for me I have loved this bronzer for so many years, you guys. And honestly, every time it's in my shop, my stash, I'm just constantly reminded of how beautiful this product is. Um, I have the shade Sunrise L1. And what I love is mainly like the tone of this bronzer. I love how it's like cool tones, but like warm toned at the same time. I really can't explain it. I love the color of this bronzer on my skin. I also love that it's not completely matte, so it's going to give you just a little bit of a glow. I love that they call it a luminous bronzer because I feel like that's the perfect name for this one. So definitely check this out. And then finally, my um, last favorite bronzer is the Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder, and I have the shade Drawn In. This is just a really nice matte bronzer. and. This one is, again, just a really good everyday matte bronzer. It's very pigmented, um, and so I'm glad that this is the lightest shade and that it's not completely like perfect for me so that I can kind of go in and like pack it on and not have to worry. Like It shows up on me, but I also don't have to worry that I'm applying too much at initial application. So this is just a really good, smooth, like matte bronzer. It's very, even though it's a matte, it's very creamy, and it's very blendable and buildable on the skin. It's beautiful. So 
love this one and those are my top three bronzers now let's get into blush so I really struggled with blush you guys I really struggled you know how much I love blush and I honestly could again have th a top three um, cream blush category but I have two powder blushes to talk about and then one cream um, so firstly I cannot believe that this is already a favorite but the bare minerals bronzer in the shade kiss of rose this is my favorite I love this. I love this so much. Something about the shade just looks super stunning. And I just love the color of this on my skin. I know that this is the deepest shade and some people may think that this is going to be too deep for them. But honestly, I go in with a light hand. I try to, you know, focus the product on the, like closer towards my hairline and it works out very beautifully. And I just love the look that this leaves on my skin. I think it makes my skin look very healthy, very sun-kissed. And it does doesn't do the sunburn look that that much like more so I feel like kiss of pink does that for me but kiss of rose is just a really nice kind of like nighttime summery look I can't explain it it's just very beautiful and um, yes I love it top three for sure then I have one of my OG kind of Revlon blushes I love the Revlon blush formula um, and I have the shade Apricute Apricute is my favorite shade it's my I love the blush formula Revlon's blushes are one of my favorite formulas which is why it's top three but Apricute is my favorite one that I have it's just kind of like my perfect everyday blush you know like it's gonna be perfect for every day it's the beautiful perfect blush like color that I'm looking for every day because it's gonna match multiple like eyeshadow looks and lip colors and all of that and of course the formula is just so good I love that these Revlon blushes they're mattes but they have a little bit of like luminosity to them it's very beautiful like a nice sheen and then finally my favorite uh other blush and this is actually a cream blush is the Patrick Ta double take cream and powder blush now at first I wasn't sure if I loved this formula but I actually like wore it on my birthday and I was obsessed and this is the shade she's blushing and the shade she's blushing is absolutely stunning I love that it's kind of like this like mauve rosy color but it's also nude at the same time it is just really beautiful and honestly this formula is so good um i really love like it was also between like the one size cheek um they're like the trios i really love those as well but I just really like this shade so much and I thoroughly enjoyed the way it looked on me that this is just a favorite I love like I'm a blush lover like I go ham with my blush and so I love a blush that's like pigmented right out the gate because then I know like I don't need to apply a ton because there are some blushes like I have to keep going and going and going with this one it's just like it's like bam boom baby you know what I mean like you just like put it on and it's like there is just so much product and it's like for blush lovers honestly so really love that one I really want to pick up the shade she's so LA for uh, she's so LA for fall for highlighter I do have uh, one cream and then two powders this cream highlighter is my life I love it so much it is so pretty and it is this one from Winky Lux this is the strobing balm and it's in the shade bubbles really love this one it is very very beaming i feel like strobing is the perfect name for this because it is so pigmented and all i do is i just get my little finger and then i just tap it on my cheekbones and it applies beautifully you can definitely see it on your skin it catches the light very nicely so love this one it also lasts all day long like it's it's amazing my other favorite powder highlighter is benefit cookie this is a classic for sure and benefit cookie is again very very intense i am someone who likes a blinding highlight I know that that's kind of like not really the trend anymore, but I definitely enjoy a pigmented highlighter. I want something that's blinding and I feel like this does that for me. This is again something that's a little bit more special occasion, maybe something that I'll wear for like the holidays or something because it is so pigmented, but it's beautiful. It is a stunning highlighter. And then my final favorite highlighter formula is definitely my Flower Beauty highlighter palette. This is specifically the Shimmer and Strobe highlighting palette. And this is old, I know. It's something that most people, like maybe it's kind of like over and done with, but it is so pretty, you guys. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful highlighter formula. It is so smooth on the skin, honestly. Like 
it will emphasize no texture whatsoever. And I love the shades that they included in the palette because you're getting like a more like um, champagne-y color, a pink rose goldy color, and then a more gold color. The gold is a little bit deep for me, but I could probably mix it with the champagne and make it work for me. And I love the pinky option as well. So this is just a really, really good formulated um, highlighter. It's mainly the formula because it emphasizes no texture. It just goes on so smooth and I'm constantly impressed with this formula. So those are my top three highlighters. All right, so for eyeshadow, we're getting through the video. We're definitely almost done. We've gone through almost all of the categories. For eyeshadow, uh, this could seriously rotate all of the time because it's just... It's a category of makeup that I love so much. You guys know that. But for eyeshadow, um, I definitely wanted to talk about the Sultry palette from ABH. I know this is old. I know that it's been it's been out and it's been discontinued for a long time now, but it is just one of my favorite palettes. It's one that I love every single time that I use it. I love the looks that I come up with. It definitely brings me joy because it makes me think of like the holidays, which is often when I use this palette. And I know that I could probably have chosen 20 different palettes for this category but this is just one that I love I think it's very special and I had done like a ranking palette I never posted it because I'm just so overwhelmed by posting that video it's ranking all of my eyeshadow palettes um, and I had like worked on it before and I looked at my list when I was pre like preparing for this video and this was top three. So I was just like, all right, like I clearly chose it for a reason. And so I'm going to continue and keep it in my top three. So yeah, love this palette so much. The shimmers in this palette are no joke, literally. All right. And then I have ABH Norvina. A ABH Norvina. This is like my, one of my all time favorite palettes. Like I cannot not have this like i'm thinking about even picking up another one because i just love this palette so much like the formula within this palette is just so good it is so good i love purple purple is one of my favorite colors to wear and incorporate um in eyeshadow just to kind of play around with some color other than that i tend to stay pretty neutral and like conservative ish with my makeup and so I love that this is like a neutral palette, but it also has some purple options. I felt like this was a beautiful palette and that it really was just a very well received palette. And it's something that probably could come out today and people would still go nuts over it. I just feel like a lot of people don't talk about it anymore because it's older, but it's just so good, you guys. And then of course, you know, I had to mention my Natasha Denona Biba palette. I know I talk about this all the time, um, but this is just so good. I have to hold the shadow or else it'll fall. But this palette, it really is just your standard staple neutral palette. If you are someone who you really don't play around too much with color and you pretty much just wear neutrals every day, grab this palette, you guys. It's very pricey, I know, but if you use neutrals all the time and you pretty much use mattes and then maybe just like standard champagne shimmers, you will love this one. The formula is so good. It is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I just did a very simple eye look I don't know if you can tell or like see it to the camera but I just did a pretty simple eye look and I feel like it's just so good for every day and honestly I don't think it'll ever be dethroned in my opinion um and then let's get into lips so at first I was just gonna do like top three lips in general but and I, I wanted to say too I didn't do like eyeliner because I don't wear eyeliner often enough and then mascara I was blessed with beautiful lashes, like meaning like they're naturally long. They kind of curl themselves, I'm not trying to brag by any means. I'm just saying I don't feel comfortable like ranking mascaras or like having a top three because a lot of mascaras work for me because again, like I said, I was blessed with pretty good lashes on my like on my own. And so um, there's a lot of mascaras that I love just kind of off the bat. I really love the L'Oreal Bambi Eye. Um, I also really like the um, like the Essence Lash Princess. That one's really good. Um, what else? I've really been loving like the Bite Upswing Mascara. Yeah, so there's a ton, but I just, you know, didn't really want to do the mascara category. Plus, I feel like it's kind of boring a little bit. So um, now let's get into lips. So I have lip glosses and then like regular um, lipsticks because those are the two that I wear the most. I have liquid lipsticks and obviously I have liquid lipsticks that are my favorites, like formula wise, but wanted to stick with those. So let's do glosses first. So 
I really love the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, and I know that I'm not in the minority. A lot of people love these lip glosses, and for good reason, they're beautiful. I have three of them. I have the shades Pearl, Moon, and Silk, and it is such a beautiful lip gloss formula. I feel like Maybelline killed it. This is literally the superior gloss in the drugstore realm. Um, the packaging is really nice, and again, I just, I love them. I think the formula is really nice. I love how like opaque they are and pigmented they are because I just feel like they can really just kind of bring together a look, make your lips look really nice and full and plump, but without the plumping effect, but they make them look really juicy and like glassy and wet at the same time. So really enjoy these. My favorite is Silk. That's definitely a favorite that I reach for a lot. It's definitely a favorite that I reach for a lot. Another lip gloss formula that I really enjoy, I still really like the Fenty glosses. I have two here, um, and then I really like Fenty Glow as well, but the Fenty Heat is really good. Um, I have the shade Hot Cherry. This is pretty This is pretty spicy, not gonna lie. Like, it, it's kind of bika. It really does hurt. Oh. Okay. There's a bug, went right into my face, thank you. Um, this is pretty pika, like it really does burn. I feel it for sure. I've never tried the Too Faced lip injection, so I can't speak to how it compares to that formula, but this is definitely, like you feel the heat with that one. But I really like the look, and I really love this beautiful kind of like cherry look. It's very pretty. And then I do like the cream formula as well, and I have the shade Mauve Wives. Very beautiful, perfect for my purpley toned looks, which is looks I do pretty often. And then of course, I love Fenty Glow, the original gloss bomb. That is my favorite. I love that lip gloss. It's in my purse currently, which is why I don't have it because I just have the mini. I keep it with me at all times because it's just so good. And then uh, my other favorite lip glosses, I have multiple of these because I love them so much, are these L'Oreal. I want to say these are called like the lip gloss and balms. I love these. I love these. I love these. I love these. And I thank Jessica Braun for this because I just love these. Um, I have four of them. So the first one I picked up was Be Uncontrollable, and then I picked up the shade Be Outstanding, and then this year they released like these beautiful kind of like rosy pink colors. I picked up Rosy Utopia and Feathery Fleur, and I love these. These are such a unique formula, especially for the drugstore, because what these do is they go on the lips like a gloss, but then they wear like a lip balm and they definitely stain your lips, especially the shade Be Outstanding because it's like a kind of like mauve red color. It's beautiful. Like I highly recommend Be Outstanding. And then my second favorite is probably Rosy Utopia. But anyways, they leave a little bit of a stain, especially the deeper the shade you get, but then they are so comfortable and so hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. They don't feel like you're wearing lip product, if that makes sense. So I love that formula so, so much. Now let's get into lip uh, lipsticks because wow, this is a long video and I'm tired. <laughs> so I love my Revlon Super Luscious lipsticks. Those are definitely my favorites. Like my Holy Grail lipsticks are the Revlon um, Super Lustrous. So my favorite is definitely Bare Affair. This one is a favorite of mine for sure. It's like my perfect nude. I use it all the time. One that I love during the summer is Kiss Me Coral. Really, really enjoy this one as well. It's very, very beautiful. Um, and then perfect for the holidays is Cherries in the Snow. This is a very classic, super lustrous color. Very, very beautiful. It's like this pinky red. It's more of like a pinky berry red. Very beautiful. These are so good. And I know that they've been around for a while. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily underrated, but they're just such a beautiful lipstick formula that I feel like if more people would wear these and talk about them today, they would actually be very well loved because they're a formula that most people really enjoy. So I really love these and they're definitely in my top three. Then I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I love Love these so much I wear them weekly like I wear them all the time I wear them to work all the time they're the most comfortable lipstick formula for me to wear because they are very moisturizing they give me some lip um, some color on my lips but they also um, like they don't like I don't feel them on my lips kind of similar to like the L'Oreal ones I just mentioned I have the shades coconut and rose 
and these again are just perfect for every day they're perfect to kind of just throw in your purse and call it a day my favorite is the shade coconut rose is a little bit light for me personally like it's a very fair light pink i love coconut if you were to grab one grab coconut i don't think you'll be unhappy with them love these they're very moisturizing and then finally the last product i'm going to talk about in my favorite and or in, my, in my last favorite in the lipstick category is my abh lipstick i love this lipstick you guys so much i've reached for it so many times since i've purchased it this is one of their satin finished lipsticks and i have the shade and I have the shade Peach Amber. I love the packaging for one, it's this beautiful rose gold, but Peach Amber is, honestly, it is a perfectly named lipstick in my opinion because Peach Amber, like, it does have like a little bit of like this brownie nude color to it, but it definitely has peach to it. Like, I love this with like my bronzy looks and like my more like, like brownie nude, um like blushes it's beautiful with those with that type with those types of looks and this is just a beautiful like beautifully formulated formulated lipstick it wears very well and again it's just so comfortable on the lips like that's kind of the theme with all of my lip products they're comfortable and that's really important to me so that was a lot you guys that was a lot if you made it to the end of this video you are a trooper thank you so much um and this was my updated top three in every makeup category i know i didn't do every makeup category because again i didn't do eyeliners or my mascara or anything like that but these were the products like these were the categories that i truly felt like yes i use this category every single day i can mention it you know so if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and also i would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my youtube channel family here do your version of this in the comments i would love to hear from you guys and just kind of hear what your top three favorites are in each makeup category but um, other than that i will go ahead and see you in my next video bye Maybe one day See